All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to the channel. On this episode of C4 and the C8, let's talk about a couple of things I hope to see come to Corvette soon. See you right after the intro. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy C4 in a C8. JC4 is in the building. On this episode, man, look, we got a couple of things we got to talk about now. It's not necessarily C8 Corvette related, but oh man, if, if you recently saw the things that were debuted at um, the 2022 CES, in Nevada, man, you had to pay notice and attention to what BMW is doing. Now, when I tell you, yes, it's only in black and white right now, but can you imagine when RGB comes? Think about the first uh, cell phones that had like pictures or graphics on it. You know, you look at it and you go from something like this to something like what we have right now on our screens, on our smartphones. So just in a few short years, sorry, I couldn't get that out. In a few short years, we could, you know, change our car to match our outfits. Whatever clothes we have on, if we go into somewhere particular, if we want to stand out a little more, we can brighten up the colors. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that turning it to any color that you want? Man, shout out to BMW and the technology that they use right there. So let me just show you a little video on what I'm talking about. Look at this, just look at this, on how you can easily transform your vehicle. And then this has a practical uh, purpose because of course, in the winter time, you would wanna keep your car black to attract some heat. And in the summertime, you would wanna make it white. But man, just imagine a decade from now or less, Sorry for that son. A decade from now or less, we could be doing any color of the rainbow. And that's a good thing. Now, the other thing real quick, man, have you seen this rendering? This is not a GM render. I don't even know who did it. I, I can't even give it credit to the person who did it because I have no idea who did it. But can you imagine the C9 looking like this? Let's talk about that. Definitely make your comments down below at the bottom because it, is this something that you would buy? Now, I can tell you right now, I love the front. The back, I'm not too fond of, and some people online are comparing it to this Ferrari right here. And I can definitely see some similarities. But when I tell you the front of this vehicle on this render, GM, I don't know if you're watching, but please pay attention to whoever did this. If not, definitely hire them because I do think it's a, an absolutely phenomenal type of design. All right. <laughs> a definitely a phenomenal design. When I tell you uh, there's a gentleman that's just pulled up next to me in a Dodge that that's trying to run, but... When I tell you, I absolutely love the idea on Sorry, y'all had to pause for a second because he wanted me to get on it real quick. But um, yeah, definitely hire them, GM, because when I tell you, it's a phenomenal design um, especially in the front. Not fond of the very rear of the car, but that can be worked on. And I know the people who thought the C8 was square, I know they're gonna freaking hate this. But other than that, uh, ladies and gentlemen, those are just the two quick things. 
uh, on the next episode, I'm going to introduce you to my daily driver, which is Cami, which is a C5 Camaro. So I'll see you guys on the next episode. Talk to you later. Peace out.